What's up guys, Rapid Fat Loss Program. I'm gonna go through the nutrition aspect with you. At the bottom of this email, I have attachments for you. You gotta click on one of those, pull that up when we're talking on this video so we can go through that together. Now, in general, I'd recommend you come about four times per week. You're just gonna have to listen to your body on that one. Uh, one really big recommendation is if you're sore, it's okay to come on the cardio fusion days. It's actually gonna help you work out some of the soreness. But if you're really sore and it's time for the interval training day, which are done on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the early Saturday morning sessions, I'd recommend taking a break or go to one of the later workouts. Like for instance, Saturday, it changes. We do the cardio fusion at the second workout. First workout's the interval training. So, you know, you gotta give your time to recover and heal up. Just remember the cardio days, you're good to go. Even if you're sore, interval training days, take a break if you're just really beat up and you need a break. You're not gonna, it's not gonna hurt your results by not going every single day. So just don't get in that mode where you think you have to be there. You do have to take some breaks and recover. All right, so week one, Let's go over the general aspect of this. I've got three weeks listed. I'm not going to go through all these, but I want you to know the, the reason why we wrote this up and some of the options that you have here. I have written this out for variety, so I don't expect you to cook every single meal that is listed on here. What I do want you to recognize, if it's a protein and a carbohydrate combination or a protein and a fat combination, and just so you know, Mondays is a high-carb day. Tuesdays is a low-carb day. Wednesday it is a high carb day, so remember all of your days that say workout days, that's your interval training days. Your cardio days, those are gonna be lower carbohydrate days right there for you. So high carb, low carb, high carb, low carb, high carb. Now Saturday, I've kinda of got a built-in cheat day for you. I know tailgating's going on, football's going on, a lot of people were probably cheating anyways. For some of you guys that's inevitable, you're gonna cheat on Saturday. So cheat day rules, let's go over those real quick. Number one, if you're gonna do a cheat day, you have to immediately follow that up with a fasting day. And I'll get into that in just a second. So cheat day rules are this. You still have to keep your frequency up. So your frequency, it means the amount of times you eat throughout the day. So you can't be sleeping in on Saturday, wake up late, eat a big meal. You still have to keep this frequency up and your normal eating patterns, sleeping patterns, all that stuff. Another thing is moderation. So you can have pizza on the cheat day, but like two slices, that's it. Don't go crazy and eat like an extra large pizza. You definitely gain weight. You can always <clears throat> eat more than you can actually run off or work off, however you want to say that. The other thing is you got to make sure that you're getting your water intake in on your cheat day. A lot of people end up not getting their water intake. Got to end up getting that in. So 100 ounces of water there and that is what you're looking for. Now, how we listen this out, because a lot of times when you do a really high, high calorie day and you follow it up with a fasting day, you can get some excellent fat loss benefits. Plus we combine that with your high carb, low carb days throughout the week. So it is really crazy what this can do in a short amount of time doing this, like doing this program like this. Now the fasting day is really simple. You basically don't eat anything all day. You drink a lot of water. Uh, you, we do want you taking the BCA powders, which you can get at the gym, at the squad fitness. And uh, you take that throughout the day basically as needed just to help you with the mental aspect of, of not being hungry and, or being hungry because that will happen, I'm not gonna lie to you there. And then the, uh, the other aspect is it helps you keep your muscle mass. A lot of times if you don't feed yourself, you end up losing muscle mass, the BCA powder will prevent that. Now if you get on that fasting day, you just absolutely have to have something, it's totally fine to grab a little bit of vegetables here and there. When I mean vegetables, I'm talking about green stuff, broccoli, asparagus, uh, but that stuff needs to be plain by itself in a, in a raw or a steamed form. No, no junk on it to make it taste good, you can't spice it up. So that's basically the gist of the program, guys. Remember, you got the, the protein, uh, the protein carbohydrate combinations, protein fat combinations, and you keep going back and forth. So it's a high carb, low day, back and forth. Now, if you're gonna do a cheat, let's say you're freaked out by the fasting and you're just not gonna do that, you can do a cheat meal here instead of a cheat day. So you still follow everything you would normally do Friday and then you do a cheat meal kind of at lunch or wherever the game time is, whatever. And the next day, you just do your low carb day. So if you're not gonna do the fasting at all, you get a cheat meal, not a cheat day, and then your Sunday just be, needs to be a cardio fusion day. You need to do a lower carbohydrate day there. So that's how that needs to work. If you have any questions, guys, let us know. Good luck with the program. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, enjoy some of those awesome recipes. You don't have to use all of them, but again, I built this for variety so you don't get bored with the same type of thing over and over again. However, to eliminate some of the preparation, Sundays and Wednesdays, I would just prepare for the next couple of days right there and just, you know, pick four or five things you want to eat and then cook those and have them ready for yourself.